history we celebrate death and rebirth. Death? Death of what? Death of the mind. We go out of our mind. Don't you know where you go when you go out of your mind? Didn't your tribal doctors tell you? You go within. You contact two billion years of meaning here inside. We go out of our minds to come to our senses, to resurrect the body, to spin down ancient ladders of sight of memory, to return to the source. A large and rapidly growing group of us have been doing almost nothing but study the effect of the psychedelic experience on ourselves and on thousands of people we invited through this trip. If we learn one thing in seven years to pass on to our fellow man, it's this. You've got to learn how to pray. You don't pray with your mind. Did you really think you could communicate with a five billion year old process? with the 3,000 words in the English language that you call your intellect. You have to learn to pray with your sense organs, with your body, to find that red thread of meaning that runs back down, down, down to the origins of life within. out there, or up there, or in here, without your map and compass. And the compass for the trigger of life is prayer. Our prayer for tonight is taken from the first word spoken by Siddhartha Gautama Buddha, just after his illumination. Buddha, you know, was a man who dropped out, turned on, and tuned in. His sense organs came alive, he centered them, took the trip through his body, kept centered, went back, back, down the train of history, to that solar, lunar, diamond eye point of all and nothing men call God. And sitting there in this peacock eye of God, from whence he could look up, the spiraling serpent coil of life unfolding for 10 million years to that solar lunar point of flame to come. And open his eyes around him and said, wonder of all wonders, all beings are the Buddha, wonder of all wonders, all men are the Buddha, all women are the Buddha, I am the Buddha, and wonder of all wonders, each of you is the Buddha, many of you here tonight, I've never had a psychedelic experience. I must warn you, this is not entertainment. This is our public religious service. I must warn you also that horror of all horrors is a teaching device, a laboratory exercise in five levels of consciousness, a simulation of the ancient and classic voyage of discovery within. First, we come to our senses, light, sound, it's all alive. Only your mind sees things, but the naked eye is 
soft and foamy flower was there in rods and cones, receiving light, light, the speed of 186,000 miles a second, totally distracted by the colors, the forms, the vision. Remember the prayer. Keep centered. You will see on the screen.
and in the plain. All your goals and your fears, your ambitions. communion. 